I'm very pleased, Eddie, and I think, um, and hopefully he won't mind me saying this, I, th I really think it's the best thing I've ever seen him do. And I've, uh, my very first film, uh, eleven odd years ago, uh, had Eddie in. I've known, you know, I've known him for that long, um, and so I've, I've been a big fan of his as well before I ever met him, uh, and I just think he's this. I always thought he could do Anthony very well. But I think he's done far better than I ever imagined Anthony to be. He's uh, he's really made that character his own, um, and it's a really it's a diff it's a difficult character because it's a character who doesn't know who he is. But it's not it's he's not running around trying to find out his former identity in a sort of Jason Bourne type way. It's yeah he he's. It's a very difficult character for an actor to play, I think. It's quite an e interesting character for a writer to write, because um, he, he just talks a lot. <laughs> and most of the time, nonsense, which is great fun. I just spent quite a lot of time when I was writing Anthony just looking up interesting facts that I like. Um, there's loads of them that I, I don't think even, loads didn't make the film, but there's lots that didn't even make the, the book. I know that a Mexican general had a funeral for his leg that got blown off. Um, that was good. That never made it. So I, don't, I can't remember if the, there's 336 dimples on a regulation golf ball made it. That might be in the book. I can't remember that. But that was one I found interesting. <laughs> Although no one else did, so maybe that's the why it's not in the book. <laughs>